I never said I love you. Welcome guys to our YouTube channel once again. And this is Phil Beck TV. He is going to tell us how he proposed to me. How I proposed? Yeah. Alright, so after, you know, um, becoming friends with, you know, my wife, then... For a year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Then, then yeah, my, my, my friend, you know, she was a, a normal friend, you know. Yeah, so, um, actually took me one year. This is not, um, Jacob <laughs> trying to marry Lehman's uh, children, no. No. Oh. Right. <laughs> Actually, uh, um, we became friends for a year, and um, I was privileged to know the in and out. Though you can't know a person throughout, but I was able to know one or two things from her, and I, 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 I was very much convinced that come on, this is the bone of my bone, oh. the flesh of my flesh. Mm -hmm. The rest, let's leave it. And then um, I, I decided, okay, fine. If if this is how you know the lady I want to you know marry is like, then why not? Um, let me go ahead and propose and see. Even chat. So guys, even when I was going to propose, it was doing me propose. Don't propose. Yeah. Propose. Don't propose. because the friendship had actually grown to it, and I stand that. If I if I don't think I would jeopardize the friendship. Yeah. And the fact that I was always like, I'm not ready to go out. So I'm not ready to go out. So <laughs> today he will say something and tomorrow he doesn't know what to say again because he doesn't know what I would say. A lot of people were actually yeah on the list trying to get in. Charlie, that list. You have you ever seen a better <laughs> slip before? <laughs> The list was that long. Oh, guys, don't buy it. It was not that long, but just that I don't blame him because I used to tell him about all those who were hating on me. And that was the the, the secret about you being a friend. Yeah. I used to tell him all those who were hating on me what I like about them, what I dislike about them. So I didn't know someone was using it to. Wrong I was thing. actually it using work well. <laughs> using all those points for, for, for my paper, you know. I actually learned a lot from being a friend and she, you know, trusted in, in me to disclose certain things to me. I actually took out points and that was how come I was able to play my cards very well. So fast forward when I was able to, you know, come to a conclusion, I decided, okay, fine. You see that I jeopardize the friendship. Or I, I I I I get what I want, so I have to take a risk. And in life, you have to. Yeah, life is full of taking risks. Perfect. You may never know what to come out of it. So. Exactly. <laughs> so guys, I decided to you know invite her to a special place. Mm -hmm. Yes, and um, this special place was around Accra Central, thereabout. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. We went and, um, you know, after taking in some soft drinks and stuff, I like, actually waited for that special ambient Like, it was a seaside, so I actually mm. waited for one big wave. <laughs> and when the wave hit like this, pa, I just said, um, I want you to be my, my tutu mutu. Point of correction, he said, I want you to be the mother of my children. Boom! And I'm like, what do you mean by that? <laughs> <laughs> Explain. Guys, it wasn't easy. In fact, as I was saying all those words, I was sweating under. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So the moment she was like, explain further, I was like, cool. <laughs> yeah. But then I, I was able to explain further. I was like, okay, so. This what I want. I want us to establish a, a relationship, you know. And um, she asked me <laughs> that big question. Let me see. Where is this relationship going? So, guys, in every ship, 
whether it is a relationship, a marriage ship, a courtship, a courtship it has to the, head somewhere. They need and to be a captain. You know whether where the ship is going. And this is you the, are in for it. This is where the advice lies. Yeah. So my advice to um, some of you ladies out there will be: don't take a guy's friendship or niceness to mean that they love you. At times, they just want to stick around as a friend. So I never took his friendship for him saying he loves me or the way he relates to me to think that he loves me. No. So far as I've not heard that magic three letter words. I love you. I love you. Forget <laughs> it. <laughs> I won't presume, assume, or assume nothing <laughs> that you like me. I will never assume anything. So ladies out there, if they've not said those letters, those words, don't assume. Because when something happens and you say, I thought you loved me. Mm. That is when they will tell you, I never said I love you. So once they come out boldly to say it, now you can hold on to the words. You said you love me. And then you tell them whatever you want to tell them. But aside that, one other thing I would add to that is, don't just jump into a ship where you don't know where the direction is going. Because you might not know, you might not like where the ship is going. Yeah. So you asked. You said you love me. If I accept, what is the end of this relationship? Where are you going? Exactly. The answer you get if you are convinced. Don't say yes. Uh-uh. Let him tell you how long he waited <laughs> for the yes to come. So guys, on that note, don't forget to watch the next episode where I will tell you the ordeal I went through before we are here today. Guys, don't forget to subscribe, hit on the notification button, and like, share, comment. We are out!